The House of Representatives says it will probe the appointment of an interim management team for the United Delta Development Commission and DDC. The House, who are criticizing the appointment and subsequent inauguration of the team by the Minister of the United Delta Affairs, God's Will Akpabio, says the interim committee is alien to the MDDC Act and should be dissolved. The motion was raised by Nicholas Osai from Delta State as a matter of national, urgent national importance and once recently screened NDDC board nominees to be allowed to resume their duties. Worry, Mr. Speaker, distinguished honorable colleagues, that the speed and curiosity with which the Minister of Niger Data Affairs hurriedly set up a three-man interim management committee is stunning and suspicious. Acknowledge, Mr. Speaker, distinguished honorable colleagues, the fact that in practice any existing vacancies in the office of the managing director of NDDC is usually filled temporarily by the highest directors in the order of seniority and rank. So, please, Mr. Speaker, distinguished honorable colleagues, to say that by the confirmation of NDDC governing board member by the Senate, the three man interim management committee of the NDDC recently set up by the Minister of Niger Data Affairs become vitiated, null, and void of no legal effect. Resolve, Mr. Speaker, distinguished honorable colleagues, to urge the ministers of the Niger Data Affairs to withdraw the appointment and the activities of the three man interim management committee that is unknown to NDDC Act. So I, uh, I think um, it's, a good, it's a good development that um, we are getting to talk about this so that at the end of the day we can then lay all this, um, all this brouhaha, we can lay it to rest, you know, once and for all and uh, most importantly have a Niger Delta Development Commission that will work for the people of the Niger Delta, have a commission that will provide good roads, have a commission that will bring succor to the lives of the people and um, have a commission that will take the people of the Niger Delta to the next level. So I believe that um, the investigation will be all-encompassing and uh, we're going to be uh, fair to all and uh, we're going to look at excellent provisions of all the laws and uh, the NDDC Act, the Constitution of Nigeria and so many other relevant um, laws of the land and ensure that uh, this is an administration that believes in the rule of law and um, at the end of the day we'll be sure that um, our, our recommendation will be based on the rule of law and it will be ultimately to the benefit of the people of the Niger Delta region.